Good day, brothers and sisters. We offer this Mass for our deliverance from the pandemic of COVID-19. The frontliners who unselfishly offer their services in these difficult times. For those afflicted with the virus and other disease and those who have died. For proper guidance and enlightenment of our civil and church leaders. For those who sent their private intentions. For the benefactors and friends of the Basilica. And for our personal intentions. Let us now pray the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of the death. Amen. And the Word must made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, word without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, word without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, word without end. Amen. Let us pray the Horatio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you into our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people thus to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicine developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to sick with competence and compassion. Grant them help in mind and body, strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman, pray for us. Please stand.
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the feast day of Saint Stephen, the first martyr. He gave his life for the service of the church, and maybe be inspired for his generosity and sacrifices, especially for his love for the church. In a special way, we include our personal intentions and for those who ask for our prayers. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most gravest fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, 
Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth. Peace to people of good will, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God, the Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Let us pray. Grant, Lord, we pray that we may imitate what we worship and so learn to love even our enemies. For we celebrate the heavenly birthday of a man who knew how to pray even for his persecutors. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen, filled with grace and power, was working great wonders and signs among the people. Certain members of the so-called Synagogue of Freedmen, Cyrenians, and Alexandrians, and people from Cilicia and Asia came forward and debated with Stephen, but they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. When they heard this, they were infuriated, and they ground their teeth at him, but he filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God, and he said, Behold, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out in a loud voice, covered their ears, and rushed upon him together. They threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul. As they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, 
I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. I will rejoice and be glad because of your mercy. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and persecutors. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, we call mo po na kikinig ako sa iyong mga salita. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues, and you will be led before governors and kings for my sake, as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say, for it will not be you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father is speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. There is this famous saying, the blood of the martyrs is the seed of of Christianity. Hindi naman po natin maikakaila that nung unang panahon, nung papalago pa lang ang ating pananampalataya, it's all about Christianity, ang daming gustong mag-practice ng kanilang faith. But because of the cruelty of some emperors during the early, early years of the Christianity, people being put to death because they are not following the rule of the emperor. And these people have a strong faith in God. Kaya nga meron tayong sinasabi na persecutions in the church. Hindi po natin yan may kakaila. And one of the first martyrs in our Catholic church, in our Christian faith, is Saint Stephen. He is one of deacon, or he is a deacon in his time. And during his time, if you were a deacon, you were responsible for the treasury of the, the church. Anong ginawa ni Saint Stephen? He is in charge of, of feeding the poor people, those who are outcasts during that time. Kasi nung mga outcasts nung panahon nila, ito yung mga may kapansanan, ito yung mga widow, Ito yung mga mahihirap. Ito yung mga may sakit. So these things, these people are considered the outcasts in the society during that time. And Saint Stephen was able to give the, the necessary needs, the, the necessary things they need in life. So yun yung role po ni Saint Stephen. At ayaw ng mga mga kawal or yung emperor ng ginagawa niya. And that is why one emperor said, sabi niya, give me all the treasures in, hell, in the church, sabi niya. And syempre, being a faithful servant of the Lord, alam niyo ginawa ni St. Stephen, dinala niya yung mga 
mahihirap, yung may sakit, yung mga may kapansanan, yung mga widows, mga balo, ta emperor. And sabi ng emperor, anong mga to? These are the treasures of the church. And that is why he was put to death. He accepted death because of his love for the church. My dear brothers and sisters, noong panahon, noong unang panahon, hindi sila takot na mamatay dahil sa kanilang pananampalataya. Kahit nasabi nating underground worship ang ginagawa nila, they don't need to practice their faith uh, publicly, but still they have the strong urge to worship God. They have the strong desire to worship and find Christ in their life. Especially when they encounter, when they heard the story of our Lord Jesus Christ, and they knew that that would be their hope, ang kanilang pag-asa sa buhay. And kung babalikan sana natin, we admire them. We admire St. Stephen. Because being a servant of the Lord, bilang isang taga, taga-sunod ng Diyos, ibinigay niya ang kanyang sarili para sa simbahan. It is not only for the church, but for God. Na kahit na buhay niya ang kanyang kapalit, sige lang, nagsisilbi pa rin siya sa simbahan. And what we can learn from this, because St. Stephen, out of his generosity, he, ser- he-, he gives service to the people of God. Sana ganun din sana tayo. Huwag sana tayong matakot na magdasal, Wag sana tayong matakot na tumulong. Wag sana tayong matakot na isigaw, ipangalandakan na tayo isang Kristiyano. Samantalang paminsan-minsan, we even forgot to pray, to go to the church, and to share what we have to other people, most especially this, who those who are in need. Tandaan po natin, ang simbahan, it composed of the rich people, and and the poor people okay so we cannot separate these people from the church because ang simbahan ang nakikita nilang pag-asa nila sa buhay and just like saint stephen and other martyrs in our church we may be inspired by their love and service for the church na kahit buhay ay ng ang kanilang buhay ang kapalit still nagsisilbi sila sa simbahan May this season of Christmas inspired us to give our generosity, our love for those people who are in need. Sana magbigay tayo ng kahit kaunti. Kasi nga, season of Christmas is a season of giving and love. Let us try to share love. Let us try to give love to one another. And despite of our, our lack of resources, we can still give something. We can still give something. Just like St. Stephen, he gave his life for the sake of many, for the sake of the church. And so we admire him and we will follow his footsteps. We may be able to help others in our own little way. As long as we have the desire, we have the good intention to do so. St. Stephen is a good person. He is at the service of the church. And at the same time, he gave his life for Christ, for the church and most especially for the people of God. Amen. Please stand. Amidst the joyous season of birth of our Savior, the Church reminds us the cross reflected in the self-sacrifice of Saint Stephen. Let us join him in our prayers for others. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That like Saint Stephen, we may bring the joy of the Incarnation even in our everyday trials and persecutions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That government leaders may recognize the birth of Jesus by their effort to promote and respect human life and dignity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That like Saint Stephen, 
we may be given the peace and strength to stand firm in faith to the end. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may have the joy and confidence amidst the troubles of this life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died for the faith may reap their heavenly reward. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of glory and power, through the prayers of St. Stephen, grant the petitions we bring before you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plain, and the mountain in reply, echoing their joyous strain. Gloria in excelsis there. Sing, come adore on bended knee, Christ the Lord, the newborn King. Gloria in excelsis Deo. dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May these offerings of our devotion today be acceptable to you, we pray, O Lord, for they are prompted by the glorious commemoration of Saint Stephen the Martyr, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is only right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give the thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in Him God made visible, we may be caught up through Him in love of things invisible. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God. Heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed, Holy o Lord, the founder of all holiness. May call it therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a jewel, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to all held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, it be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Ricardo our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be called eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you.
Cordero ng Diyos na nag-alis ng mga kasalanan ng sanlibutan awa ka sa amin Cordero ng Diyos na nag-alis ng mga kasalanan ng sanlibutan the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. stars are brightly shining it is the night of our dear Savior's birth long lay the world in sin in ever pining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth a thrill of hope the weary world rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn
Please stand. Let us pray. For the many mercies which surround us, we give thanks to you, O Lord, who save us through the nativity of your Son, and gladden us with the celebration of the blessed martyr Stephen, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Ang Pasko ay sumapit, tayo ay magsiyawit ng magagandang himig dahil sa Diyos ay pag-ibig nang si Kristo'y isilang may tatlong haring nagsidalaw at ang bawat isa ay nagsipaghandog ng tanging alay Bagong taon ay magbagong buhay Nang lumikaya ang ating bayan Tayo magsikap upang makamtan natin ang kasaganahan Tayo'y magagsiawit habang ang mundo'y tahimik ang araw ay sumapit Nang sanggol na dulot ng langit Tayo ay magpahalan Ating sundin ang gintong aral At magbuhat ngayon Kahit hindi Pasko Ay magbigayan Please kneel Prayer before a crucifix Look down upon me, good and gentile Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with your burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep into my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity through contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment, while I'll contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds, pondering over them within me. And calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat, O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings, which you know I need in life. Deign, or dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessing which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And the special grace to thy in God's love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 